While cockatoos can be noisy, messy and destructive, they rarely threaten human lives. But it can happen. Mum of six, Scheherazade, says she's lucky to be alive after pet cocky Frank sent her to the ICU. I'm thinking I'm dead. Like, I'm not going to make this. Do you feel at all responsible? I mean, this lady could have long-term health repercussions. It's a scary disease that can kill you. It can kill you very fast. You wouldn't think that a simple trip to the local pet shop could land you in intensive care fighting to survive. But that's exactly what happened to one Sydney mum who wants her story to act as a warning to think twice before taking home your new cute and cuddly friend. Never in my life did I even think an animal can give you some kind of disease or some kind of virus or whatever it was. You wouldn't know by looking at him that Frank the Cockatoo could have killed someone. As soon as I seen the cocky, I was in love with it. Just eight weeks old, the sulphur-crested cocky should have lived up to 40 years. When I played with it, I noticed it was dropping a lot. And I thought, no, there's something not right with this bird. But, you know, I'm not a bird expert. How's your day, Shaharazad Gaffel was looking after Frank for her nephew, who bought the cockatoo on December 16 last year from this pet shop at Ramsgate in Sydney's south. The mother of six says she couldn't put up with Frank pooing all over her home. So she handed the bird back three days later, but it would seem Frank had made more mess than Shaharazad could have ever imagined. I started getting sick pretty much straight away. I was getting hot fevers, like ridiculous hot fevers. Days later, the disability worker was taken to hospital. That first night that I was in the hospital, things weren't going too good and they buzzed the alarm where all the doctors came in. And at that point, they did an X-ray on my chest and they saw that 80% of my lungs was covered in fluid. Sent to intensive care, doctors couldn't work out what was wrong. They basically said to me that, you know, everything's kind of shutting down on you. You need to think really hard what's made you sick because the antibiotics aren't working and we'll have to put you on life support. At that point, I'm thinking I'm dead. Like, I'm not going to make this. Until one simple question solved her mystery illness. It was when one of the doctors said, do you have any pets? And I thought, OK, I said, I've got a bird, an eclectic sparrow, but it's not him. I've had him for six years. And then I remember the cockatoo, and then it just hit me. Like, that cockatoo didn't look right. Doctors confirmed Shaharazad was in fact suffering from a disease called psittacosis, a deadly bacterial infection that is transmitted from a bird to a human. And then they said, bingo, we're going to start giving you an antibiotic that will deal specifically with the bird with that kind of disease. As the treatment started to work, the Gaffor family started to ask questions. So what measures did they take? And if they've done it with this cockatoo, how many other birds have they done it with? Questions for John, the owner of the Living Jungle Pet Store. Do you check them for disease? Externally, you look at them and make sure they're all fine and they're growing well and the rest of it. But internally, it's hard. Like me, today, I'm perfect today, but we gone tomorrow. Do you feel at all responsible? I mean, this lady could have long-term health repercussions. Yeah, I do. Because this came from my store. Yeah. And I love this place. I've been, here, I mean, I've been here for many, many years. Are you happy to work with this family in terms of compensation or a refund? <laughs> Definitely for that, yes. When it, look, when you do with life threatening things like that, you, know, you can't muck around with that. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's serious, this is serious. So, yeah, definitely. Does this happen often? No. Has it happened before? Yes. The last time was probably um, 14, 15, 16 years ago. I can't remember. Mm. It was a power of some sort. And she goes, it has to be the case of it. But the bird got treated, she got treated, and it was all good. What do you say to this woman today? I'm so sorry. I, I mean, obviously, if I knew anything like that, I'll, I, I wouldn't have given it to you. I mean, I wouldn't have taken it. But um, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I do apologize. I hope you get better. Um, in terms of compensation, what can you offer? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what can I give her? I mean, even if I give her a full refund, does it, it does that does it help? It doesn't really. What's money? Money's and everything. You yeah, use your health. You can be left for the rest of your life with scarred lungs. And as I said, people have transplants because of psittacosis, of lung transplants to try and keep them alive. So that's Vet the surgeon that's Dr Frank. Rob Zamet is all but convinced Frank the Cockatoo gave Shaharazad the potentially deadly disease. What else could it have been? 
She's got psittacosis. She doesn't act with other wild birds in her area. She doesn't go outside feeding birds, has no interaction with any animals in that area. She's bought a bird, the bird was sick, it had a lot of diarrhoea around the place. You've got to be very suspicious that that's what's happening. And that's the doctor's conclusion? That's correct, yeah. Raising her six children on her own, Shahrazad says her recovery is proving one of her biggest tests. I might look okay from the external part, but internally I feel like an 89-year-old woman. That's exactly how I would describe myself. It's crazy to think that you could almost lose your life. Absolutely. It's like I'm in a twilight zone and it makes me scared. It's left a scar. Frank the Cocky died. Scheherazade continues to see her doctor as she slowly recovers.